Well, greetings, my friends. I come to you today from Tallahassee, Florida, bringing 365 prayers and activations for entering the courts of heaven by Robert Henderson. It's March 26th, 2024. And the first scripture that uh, Robert quotes and quotes holy is from Exodus 28, 36 to 38. And it reads like this. You shall also make a plate of pure gold and engrave on it like the engraving of a signet. Holiness to the Lord. And that's in capital letters. And you shall put it on a blue cord that it may be on the turban. It shall be on the front of the turban. So it shall be on Aaron's forehead that Aaron may bear the iniquity of the holy things which the children of Israel hallow in their holy gifts. And it shall always be on his forehead that they may be accepted. The children of Israel, that the children of Israel may always be accepted. Excuse me. Um, this is what Robert has to say. <clears throat> the priests were to wear a turban on their heads. It had on it a plate with the inscription, Holiness to the Lord. As we seek to stand in the courts of heaven and function there as priests, we must have a pure, clean mind. For Aaron to function as priest, in behalf of the nation and be accepted this had to be on his forehead if we are to stand before the Lord we must allow the mind of Christ to be in us that's reference from 1st Corinthians 2 and 16 we must allow every thought to be taken captive and brought under his authority Christ's authority 2nd Corinthians 10 and 5 as we do we are wearing the clothing of one who can stand as priest before our God. Our minds are now holiness to the Lord. We are allowing the governing power of the Holy Spirit to remove every unclean and unrighteous thought and replace it with that which is holy and pure. We've been talking a lot about that these past couple months in this book. We are walking in the disciplines of thinking of God as God would think. We are thinking with the mind of Christ on things true, honest, pure, lovely, of good report, that which is virtuous, and those things that are praiseworthy. Reference Philippians 4 and 8. We are wearing a turban in the spirit world that allows our mind to be holiness to the Lord. Whew. We sure need it today. We've needed it all along, of course. But it just seems like we need it more today than ever before. And it's so easy to be pulled away from that kind of thinking, thinking of as the Lord does. And uh, we have to constantly be praying about that and, and, and basically praying without ceasing to be connected with the Lord and taking every thought captive. Anyway, this is Robert's prayer today. Lord, as I stand in your courts, I ask that I might operate in the mind of Christ. Lord, remove every unclean and unrighteous thought in me and place in me thoughts that please you. I want to stand before you in true holiness and righteousness with my mind being holiness to the Lord. Let there be a consecration of my mind to you that allows me to stand here for myself and in behalf of others. Thank you, Lord, that my mind belongs to you and your desires in the earth. Amen. And again, I say, we've been really speaking about that for the past three months here in this book. And as you lean into the scripture and you lean into the Lord, 
he will help you with that. It, it won't be easy. It, it'll never be easy, but he will help you. And, uh, you know, sometimes when we're not feeling well, I'm not feeling well today. I didn't get to this video till 6.15 at night. I usually get to it by 8 o'clock in the morning. But I wasn't feeling well today. I'm still not feeling well. But you know what? We just have to press in. And we, we also need to not pay attention to so much how we feel. We've been talking about that a lot lately, too, as far as the Lord is present and with us always. Sometimes we don't feel his presence. But that doesn't mean he's not right here. So I say let's not pay too much attention to the way we feel. And so... Okay, this will be my prayer today then. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you that we can have the mind of Christ with your help, with your word, with your very written word, with praying without ceasing that you stay close to us and that any thought that comes into our minds, Lord, that we, if we're not sure about it, Lord, we hold it up against your word, God, and we know if it's from the enemy or if it's of you, God. But he, he tries, the enemy tries to, you know, mimic and do everything like you do. But there's not, you can, you can tell the difference, God. So help us to hold it up against your word, God, and know the difference, Lord, as to whose voice we're hearing and what thoughts are in our minds, God, and help the thoughts to be taken captive that uh, to the mind of Christ and that before we open our heart, our lips to speak and our tongue to move and speak a word, Lord, let it just be filtered through your mind. And uh, otherwise, let us just keep it to ourselves and send it back where it came from in Jesus' name. And Lord, guide us and uh, guide us in our past, God. Um, Strengthen us, Lord, and give us the courage we need at any moment, God, in the day to just stand for what's virtuous, what's true, what's right, what's holy, no matter the cost, Lord. You did that for us in such an immeasurable way, God, and there's no way that we can repay it, Lord, but show us how to stand where we stand today, where we're here at this time, in history for a reason you've placed us here in this very location and time and connection with the people that we connect with daily and uh, I pray Lord that we would use every opportunity that you're putting in front of us God to uh, share your word God share your light Lord and to just be a just be a beacon God out there for a very 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 dark world we love you so much, and we bless you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. So uh, keep on keeping on. And like I say regularly, keep a smile on your face. It's really, really hard to be mad or unforgiving or bitter when you're smiling. I love you. But you gotta know that he loves you so much more.